Welcome to the Fight Night Daily podcast with me, Gareth, and Spencer Oliver with me at the Auditorium in Manchester. We've just witnessed a weird and wacky press conference involving Dylan Dennis and Logan Paul, Tommy Fury and KSI, and I want to say John Fury as well. And maybe a little bit at the end, a bit of argy-pargy between Platten and Mike Perry and Idris Virgo. And this will all come into focus as we talk about this. Oh, and he caused a lot of trouble as well. Here listen, he is. Listen, what no, we, no, 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 hang on, hang yeah, on. Yeah, what we really said was hang mayhem. On, hang it was on. mayhem. The, the person that added to the mayhem was War Chisora, who's wearing his blue glasses today. Stop it. Um, and he was urging John Fury to get his shirt off. You caused a lot of trouble in there today. I love John Fury, you know, because he's so passionate about boxing. And he's so passionate about his, 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 his sons, his boys. Now, I wish more dads were like that. Do you understand? You're like, when your son is fighting, you know, you're there, you're passionate, you're throwing every punch of your son, you're there with him. You know, I, even, you know, you, Spencer, your dad was with you when you were in your, your, your peak of your career, even in the amateurs training, be with you, there with you every day. Yeah. But his days, Dads are not like that. Yeah, but what's know, he going to do? Let me just ask Derek and we'll get rid of him. I, I, I don't mean get rid of you, but we've got to do our daily yeah, yeah. Um What's John going to do if KSI beats Tommy? Uh, he's going to take his top off and try, you know, shove him, push ball. You know, we already... So KSI can beat Tommy? Uh, what, hold on. KSI is going to knock Tommy out. Wow. Do you want, do you want to, let me say that again. KSI is going to knock Tommy out. And mark my words, it's going to happen. Spencer this Oliver. Is why, this is why the odds on the bookies are not that great, because they know exactly what's going to happen. Spencer Oliver, what do you think to those comments by Derek? Well, listen, it's one of those fights where you really don't know who's going to who's going to win the fight. Tommy Fury for me starts the favourite, of course he does, because he's got that boxing background. Mm. But KSI will go in there and he's going to give it a go. Listen, you got to remember, there's a big ego here. He's got a lot of pressure on his shoulders as well. He won't want to lose. He wouldn't have took the fight if he didn't think he was going to lose. It's one of those fights for me. I think Tommy Fury wins the fight. But I'm not surprised. Oh, oh, I'm, oh. I'm not. How's he going to win the fight? I think, he I think he'll stop I, KSI. Will no, no, disagree. I don't think he'll take it. For Tommy Fury to win the fight, he won't take a chance. He'll keep it at range. I agree. And he'll try and outbox. Uh, Tommy, uh, Tommy, he'll try and, Tommy's uh, fight. He's always him. trying to outbox everybody, overthinking it, you know. But all I'm saying is, KSI is knocking Tommy out. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Derek, as always. And we didn't even have to pay him to be on the podcast today. Um, just to recap over that, um, I think KSI will come out very fast. They both promise they're going to deliver. But I do think if he stops KSI coming forwards, he will get behind his jab and he will go into safety mode. Absolutely. Listen, I think that that's what he does anyway. I think that that's, you know, that's it. That's a safe option for Tommy Fury. You know, he won't want to go out there and mix it. The KSI can punch. We've seen that. He has got a, he has got a punch, and he will go out there, and he will be reckless, and he will take the fight straight to Tommy Fury. Why would Tommy Fury then gamble on sitting in the pocket and taking those shots and trading with him? Tommy will use his boxing brain, his boxing IQ, and he looks to slowly he win, break... He wins on so points it, for it, you, He looks to slowly break KSI down. That is the way that he does it, and I think that if he wins the fight, that's the way that, that's the way that he does it. Well, that's I've the way that he wins. four rounds for Tommy but, Fury, but wouldn't surprise if you won on points. Let me ask you about the drama at the press conference. Let's just go over that. Dylan Dennis and Logan Paul really going at it. It's been a nasty spike. You can see the Dylan Dennis interview that I've done and, and Spencer's interview with KSI on the boxing YouTube channel at TalkSport. Um, they went, there's been a nasty media, social media campaign by Dylan Dennis at Logan Paul and it boiled over there and Dylan Dennis threw the microphone at him, caught his eye and he's yeah. cut. Do you think the fight will go ahead? Listen, Gareth, it got too personal. For yeah. me, it got way too personal. You can see emotions were running way too high on yeah. the stage. They both oh, they both crossed the line with what they were saying, delving into their personal lives, etc. Dylan Dallas has been doing it through the whole for the last few weeks. He's been getting very personal, trolling months. on social media months. months. When Logan came out, you could see he was already fired up. He, he was, was already there. He'd been doing these research. He, was red he in started the eye coming. About he, it, wasn't he, he was. He was. Yeah. And, and and he got the, the guys just lost it. They, they, they lost it. Their emotions took over, and you could see. And it was always going to end that way. I'm not sure the fight goes on. Uh, goes ahead. By the way, I don't think the fight does go ahead. I saw when when um, Dylan Dennis he threw the microphone. It caught Logan Paul. There's a cut, I believe, above the head. As he was going off, he was crouched over, going off. You could see blood dripping. I'm not sure the fight will go ahead. I'm, I'm quite confident the fight. Well, well may fascinatingly, not go ahead. they brought in Mike Perry to do the face-off with Dylan Dennis, 
So that might happen, I doubt it. But Dylan Dennis even had a bit of a contretemps with Idris Virgo. So there's a fight being made at the moment. Yeah. When we had Tommy Fury and KSI on stage, they went at it. John Fury had a big yeah. intervention, didn't he? John, listen, John the father, he gets emotions again. His emotions get the better of him. He lost it a little bit. You know, things were said. What they are great at here in the Misfits is they get very personal. They like to get inside. They sell it. In, get inside the heads. We, John, it. we know John Fury. You've only got to give him a little bit and he'll go. Yeah. He loses it. And that's what happened there today. And do you think when John got in the... I didn't know there was a perspex sheet in that cage between them, you know? It's a good job there was, by and the way. Because John tested it with his yeah. fists and his head. Absolutely. He? he tried ripping it off from the bottom as well. I mean, like I say, he really did lose it. And, and I think there was four or five security that had to take him out of there because his emotions got the better of him. Let's bring it back to reality. This isn't pro boxing. It's boxing overtaken by YouTubers. And Tommy Fury's the only genuine boxer on the card but yeah. he probably will never have a genuine boxing career after these fights now because he's a target for the influencers and the youtubers now, he, he looks at it from the business point of view he says listen i'll box for a british title i could get probably the best part of fifty thousand pounds are coming here and i'm going into the millions doing this this is wwe slash entertainment slash boxing being the umbrella of it all but one thing you can guarantee is it will be entertainment on Saturday night, and that is for sure. I'm hearing from DAZN executives, it's trending at a million pay-per-view buys. Well, I said it to you earlier, it's got a big fight feel, and you corrected me, and you're right. It's got a big event feel about Absolutely. it. Everywhere you go around Manchester, it's Absolutely. only Thursday. This auditorium was packed today with yep. media and cameras. You know, there's 200 million um, subscribers from all the people on the card mm. from from everyone yeah. from top to bottom so there's an enormous fan base I do think it'll be drama for the next couple of days but it's not pro boxing Absolutely and we not. must draw a line of course under it is. that and the, we're the, live it's on it's, it's, it's got its own place for this you know yeah. it's a huge huge market yeah. as you say over 200 million you know, subscribers billions of views as well yeah. there is a massive crossover here this is boxing crossover and it is huge we're here again tomorrow, obviously, for the weigh-ins here in Manchester and also live on Saturday night with myself, Spencer Oliver, Adam Catterall and Don McGuinness doing commentary. 8 p.m. on TalkSport will be bringing you so much of the action and a lot of the drama from a very, very packed, sold-out, noisy Manchester arena. Until tomorrow, from Spencer and myself, it's good night. It's mayhem. Cool.